Hey guys, so today I want to check out ScreenMate for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. And of course it works on both these two phones because they do share the same screen size and same design. So I've already been checking this out on the iPhone 5. So this is the, the screen protector here that's scratch resistant, shadow proof, shock absorbent, smudge and fingerprint resistant. So you can see here that it do comes with the 9H hardness and it has some information over here about that uh, oleophobic coating uh, so it has text like uh, precisely polished and cut out to the most exact uh, exacting of or cut out the most uh, exacting exacting of standards uh, so this is from ilum or ilome do you say alum uh, i'm not pretty sure how to say that but uh, it's a transparent tempered glass nearly impossible to scratch or penetrate thanks to its rating 9H uh, hardness. I'm not sure if that's 9 hour hardness, I don't think it is, but I have no idea. And also this oleophobic coating uh, offers resistance against smudges uh, or smudges and fingerprints. So that is pretty, pretty sweet. So you do have some instructions here on how to install if it's the first time you are doing it. So you can also see here that you do get two buttons here, so you can also protect the button, which I think is a pretty, pretty cool, because usually you don't get that with every one. Uh, so let's see here, first you do have these two, depending on which iPhone color you do have, so they point, they, they point out a little bit. So you can see I do have the black variants. So you start off here, as you can see here on this text. Uh, protective film, please kill off this first, the number one. And of course, practice is king, so you can first just try to align it. And then when you feel ready, you just take it off. And then you can just put it on, align it properly. Wait a sec. Hmm, wait a sec, I think I did the wrong. Of course you will have one sticky side here, so you will feel which of the size that you need to put on like this. So try to align it properly. And then you wanna of course go from the middle and try to, oh my gosh. Of course it's best to just turn off the display while you're doing this. But of course you wanna be, be doing this better than me, but you can see that even though I did put it on here pretty quick, I did not get that many air bubbles, which is pretty nice to know here when you do it carefully. No problems using the touch. You can see here that it adds a little bit of thickness. So now also, if we want to put on this one to protect the button as well, we can do so. And of course you want to probably align this one as well. So this one is how it should. But it has a nice, uh, that it points out now a little bit more. So uh, it adds a little bit, or it's good to have that one along with this screen protector because now it's easier to reach that button. So uh, as they did say, of course you already have pretty good protection here with your iPhone uh, because of course you already have pretty good protection here uh, with the grill glass on the iPhone but now it's getting way better. Plus that you also do get your that you also do get your home button here also protected. So, so as you can see here, nothing.
Nothing, nothing, nothing. So very, very nice protection over here on the front side. So very, very, very sweet here. Did see maybe her a little bit because I was hitting it hard here that it did get a little bit destroyed, but then I have also pushed it pretty hard here with the knife. Um, but if you take a look at the front side here, I can't see anything. So actually good, good screen protector here. Uh, I will leave a link in description to it if you want to check it out a little bit more. So if you did enjoy this video, please also leave it a like and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Peace.